And a pass off the board, setting up potentially a two-on-one here. Oh, a save by Honor. Taylor Schwalbe had a goal against Dartmouth already a couple years back. Robbed right there. Daja behind the goal. Now it's stolen away. Rapaci shot blocked. A second chance. Oro scores. Oh, he watched her do it on the back check. Now she's buried it in the front half of the ice for her fifth of the season. And that would seem to be an inadvertent shot block in front that got the big green into trouble. Looked like it hit off of Megan Cornell. You're going to see the first shot initially does not get through off of Cornell's knee and then a perfect bounce over and firing into the back of the net is Oros. That's her team leading fifth of the season. She Rapaci to Hanson again. Rapaci advancing a shot saved by Honor. The big green can't clear. Hanson in the way of the opportunity. They'll try again now, and this time it is dumped down the ice by Gabby Billing. And a giveaway behind the goal. Daja swung and missed back to the point. Hayes. Here's a shot save. Rebound. A second save by Honor on Michaela Capel. And now has forced one. Rumbo to shot. Salander the save again. So good down low with the stick. Boy Putafanti. Calgary native. And for the Rocky Mountain Raiders in the edge, school is a shot on goal. They score. Bit of a bolt out of the blue, but it's that top line again. And Sabrina rapaci has got her third of the season. Rapaci just, I guess you could say Serena, Sabrina on the spot as opposed to Johnny on the spot right there. But the feed in front, and she's able to crash this one down again. Good work. She just finds herself in that triangle of Dartmouth defenders watching the puck instead of going after it. And she's able to bang that one past Honor. And RPI, two goals so far on the afternoon. Trying to stretch pass ahead to Brack in order to slap it in deep. That was broken up. Falzone, though, still with it. Falzone, a backhand up high. Tough shot on that backhand, but Salander equal to it. So we approach the midway point of this second period. Oros and Rapaci, the two goals for RPI in that 2-0 lead. Now a giveaway in front, a shot home. McClanahan all by herself, and Salander stared her down. Boats kept this in, the big green captain for a shot. Salander the save, loose rebound, Bracken digs, and Salander has it now. 2-0, still our score. Weiss kept that in at the blue line for now, and yep, did manage to keep it in entirely. Setting up this opportunity and a save by Honor. Jamie Grigsby trying like heck to get on the score sheet, almost did. Four fresh skaters out there on the ice, about to be five. Poudafont will stay out there now as Rumboat has it for a shot again. Just gloved easily. She just makes that look so simplistic. And that shot initially looked like it was just labeled really, really low, and then somehow Salander's able to get the glove down and scoop it up off the ice, and a little bit of a tangle up after the play as well as Hansen went down and she got tangled in front. You'll see the shot again. Again, it's a great shot coming in here from Rumboat. Just labeled hard and low and but Salander's off and you can see Romboat after putting her head up towards the ceiling and the rafters here just all right the second shift for the top line here in the third period and we're only just a couple of minutes in Rapaci the shot got the rebound and poked it wide in the backhand as honor allowed a big bounce Billings got some space trying to work by Feroli here's Billing into the offensive zone one too many moves maybe a chance now and a save made by Salander that's the bad news the good news the arms in the air Guess you could call it announcer voodoo. I guess we're talking about the fact that RPI is not penalized. Just a good rush in. That extra whack with the stick right yep. there is going to be enough to be called for a hook as it's going by. So Outside of the cage, not sure Honor had to get anything on that at all. Ten seconds of the five on three. Oros a shot through traffic. 